focus. We'll focus. Where are we going, Chris? We are going uh, to uh, some place that sells books, movies, and they're having a big signing event that we're gonna sink our teeth into. Yeah, it's a new store we've never been to before, right? Yeah. Um. There's also an office uh, over here. Um, you know, I got a, I got some feelings I might need to get to. I'm gonna have to go ahead and dent this office real quick before. Oh, so we can, uh, damn! Can take it. Oh, the grinder sign. You hear that? Oh. Um, I am wearing a shirt by a. Cavity colors too, which also is hey, being there you go. And <laughs> hey, that shirt's the bomb, by oh. the way. Bomb .com right there. It's just straight fire, bro. Oh man, bro, low key, it's gonna be a fun. <laughs> I'm losing it right key. now. Just thinking about it. Hey, dead ass. I'm dead ass too. That's gonna pretty be a fun time. It's, oh man, got it. it's gonna be a good time. Where are we going? Come on, tell the okay, we're going to Dark Delicacy. Yeah, Four. the Blu-ray release signing event of the Dentist. One and two. Brace yourself, Chris. <laughs> I like that. That's a great cover. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but that's just scratching the surface of oh, things right here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, we man. Got, we got an appointment. We're hauling that trying to be there on time. <laughs> we won't be missed. We don't miss our appointment. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to get up there early enough. You know, we had to have plenty of insurance as far that's as time right. went. There you go. And we might hit up some filming locations. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe a little, uh, maybe from the dentist. And there's also maybe some from other... Brian used the movies? Who knows? Low-key, that'll be straight fire. <laughs> but at the signing event, we have the director, Brian Usna. Yep. So We've got Friday. Ken Forey signing yep. from Dawn part of the one. Dead. Dawn yep. of the Dead. Composer Alan Howarth. Yeah, that's right. Now, he was a visual effects artist supervisor at the time for the movies. Anthony Ferrante, who went on to direct every Sharknado movie. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And there's going to be more guests there, too. I think Jillian McWitter from, or McWhitter from part two. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, in the back, Amy's here too. Say hi, Amy. Hi. Uh, she's here too. Oh yeah. Here for Ken. Ken, there you go. go. Uh, she gonna, she gonna leave Chris for Ken. I think. It's just, once you go black, what? What's the thing go? Yep. I'm kidding. Yeah. What do you want him to write? What do you want him to say? Amy? This is for Roger. This is for Roger. Roger. So let's oh, go. Man. I got a sweet tooth, man. Woo. We gotta get going. These dentist puns are going to be everywhere today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to drill it, right? Not oh, drill it. I like that. I like it, that. It, right? yeah. Are you going to end the video with a little flossing? Oh, you mean like the dance or the actual? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that's why my kids are like cringing right now. Like, Dad, stop right there. They're it's saying so this bad. bites, huh? <laughs> Dang it. You cannot pun Chris, man. That's, not, that's impossible. <laughs> that's I, man. What? <laughs> They're probably in the way. Right? You can, right? There, yeah, if you if you get a really good one, then you can. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give you a crown for that. Uh, <laughs> That's sorry. Right. Oh, God. Cut the, cut the video. Cut See where you at. An appointment, Chris. <laughs> so the dentist, oh, I wonder if the dentist will take it. Do they take it? Do they take walk-ins or is it by appointment only? You know what? I had assume walk-ins. Ah. Man. So how much how much of the scene is the building in, in the movie? I remember it being very briefly at the beginning of the film, yeah. like after the opening scene at the pool and everything. Then it cuts right to this as it shows it briefly, and then cuts to a uh, a young Mark Ruffalo asking if uh, Doctor Feinstone is in. Awesome, that's cool. It's like 10, 11, maybe twelve minutes into the movie. Yeah, we figured we we hit it up since we're going for the dentist Blu-ray signing, and it's in Burbank, and so it's like why not? Like, Let's check it out. Right yeah. Here. So it's an Aramark building now, apparently, but, yeah. but you know, uh, Hollywood secrets. What you see is from like across the street over here, because like uh -huh. you see mostly this, and then this side of this building you mostly see in the shot. That's right. So how, so how I fitting? Like a, I think like the shot they probably use is like right across the street by where that wood ranch is, and it shows it. Yeah, so there it is. So I figured, hey, we're going to the dentist Blu-ray. Why not hit the dentist office? It's super close by. So yeah, there it is. Check it out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Really cool. Like, why are these people taking this? Chris got us on a wild goose chase <laughs> looking for an old toy store. Well, so I mean, we, Silent Night, Deadly Night 5 is wild. It is wild. So, <laughs> so what was the name of the toy shop? Geppetto's? Geppetto's Toy Silent Store. Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 5. But apparently, now it's a restaurant. <laughs> it's a restaurant now, and yeah. it didn't even look the same. So, it looks like there's like an alleyway there. Look. I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's bricked up now. But look, there's an alleyway right there next is. to it. So, oh, it is in the okay. corner. Yeah. Like so, I found Geppetto's. We'll check. Yeah, it's not Geppetto's now. It's a restaurant, but <laughs> we'll show you anyway. What does it so. say? Adana Restaurant? Adana? Yeah. We'll see. We'll oh, yeah. show you. You're right. Turn the camera around. So here's the restaurant now, but the to it was a toy shop in part five, Southern Night Dinner Night part five. Yeah, holy crap. Now it's a restaurant. I guess uh, that's So this is the alleyway, but now it's like a parking lot. Right. 
You want to eat it? You at the toy store? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now it's now a restaurant. Right here in Burbank, another one, San Fernando Road, busy road. He sure does. It's probably cheaper too, just filming the yeah. same, you know, not have to go too far. Kind of like how John Carpenter loves Pasadena, Brian used it, likes perfect. That's right. <laughs> so Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 5, Geppetto's Toy Store. Right here in Graham and San Fernando Road in Burbank. Chris wanted to check it out. Gotta love the toy maker. That's right. Connection to the signing today. Brian Usna, the director, wrote and directed this. And the producer, the executive producer of this, went on to produce Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. How crazy is that? So Insane. We'll have, we'll have to mention that we hey, went to Geppetto's. And like, what? another connection. Uh -huh. The director of Part 5 went on to be the one and only script supervisor in the career of Quentin Tarantino. That's amazing. So weird. How crazy is that? Oh, man. I found that out because of the Blu-ray sets. When you watch the extras and you watch those interviews, I was like... That's insane. It's fascinating. That is very cool. <laughs> See, stuff like that, man. Just, like, that's the cool thing about the special features on Blu-rays. Look at right now. But here we go. Toy shop. Where's Amy going? Amy. She's looking around. I think she wants a toy from Geppetto's. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Towards a new NECA figure. So we have arrived to our destination. The Burbank. We made it. We made it. We're alive. Dark Delicacies. Our home away from home. We miss it so much. So, you know, we should have been talking like this. Like, we just got a root canal or something. Our teeth. Oh, we saw man. the dentist, so let's see. <laughs> that sucking sound, man. That's so oh, so gross. Hey, I see. Uh, I see Lisa. Let's oh, turn this around and see what we got. Are we early? Or are we late? What's going on? Where is everybody? Seriously, oh, the line be waiting outside. Seriously, they sell cupcakes here, right? Oh. Let's find out. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. All set to oh. go. You got your stuff? Bum, bum, got all ready right here. What's that for? You know. Uh-huh. Just, just certain somebody. Here it is. Everyone's going to be here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had a Chris. Oh, they had a Chris. Oh, they had a Chris. Oh, they had a Tom. They had a J. Boyle. Oh, yeah. Some names here. This is our signing event. This is cool. Nice. Yeah. Let's go pick up a Blu-ray. Let's do it. They added them, dude. Get called. What? It's so sick. Yeah, keep okay, throw that in the air. <laughs> what? This They're gonna be gone. Sorry, Chris. You better grab one now. You better get one. You better get one. You better get one. That's right. There you go. Thirty bucks. It's yours. Oh, he was teaching. He was teaching. Yeah, that's right. You're on your own. Oh, yeah. Good. It's interesting. It's a very different. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. uh, where, where would you like me to show you? Oh, right there. <laughs> so, the, so the big question is, uh, when you go to these things, what's what's number one? Is it reanimator? Uh, I'm noticing a lot of society now. Yeah, society is almost overcome right now. Interesting. Oh, wow. oh, my God. Oh, I believe I should be the dry foot. Um, they're they want to, but I'm still not happy. You got two things? <laughs> hmm? You got two of them? No, just one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's just the top. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But I'm thinking to do it myself. You know, the, the pie is getting smaller, so you need ever bigger pieces. Yeah. I'm going to put out. Thank you. Sweet. I'm really proud of it. It's a completely independent film. It's very, very, very different. Thank you. 
I guess black on this one. I think so, yeah. I had an orange one. I don't know if that would come out good. I don't think it'll show up. I got it put here. Right? Yeah, good, yeah. Let's see. I'll do whatever you yeah, say. Yeah. Right there, yeah. His name right there. Director of the Oh, yeah. Nice. I know, me too. Well, that's the problem with this. You got to just dry, though. That's the problem. You know, they almost Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this one came out. Do you want me to sign him one for you? It's on Amazon. It's about, oh, I was going to say, what's the screen? <laughs> yeah. Nice. What's your name? Uh, John. J O H N. I love it all. It's a, it's a, it's a, it was an independent we did uh, last two years ago. And it just came out last fall. And it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's an experience. <laughs> nice. I'll take one too if you don't mind. Yeah. I won a contest, a comic con for Sharknado Two. Yeah. And I got to meet Tara Reid and uh, Ian Ziering. Uh, they gave it was like a Twitter thing where you had to just copy re retweet and then. Uh, they told us go to this bar. Went to this bar. It had a mechanical bull. They gave us food. We got a survival kit book, an inflatable Sharknado two, and I got a Shark, uh, um, Funko Pop Sharknado signed by Tara and Ian. Yeah. I thought that was rad. Yeah, yeah. That, that, those are hard to find. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's got the tornado and the shark on top. Yeah, awesome. So, Alfonso, A L F O N S O. A L F O N S O. Yes, yeah, perfect. Thank you. So it was fun to do that. I was like, the movie was red, and then I got to win. That's so, like, so cool. Two is my favorite of the yeah of the of the six. Nice, just because it was New York. Yeah, just in terms of and in movie making, it was like we we had more toys to play with. Exactly. Yeah. No, those are so much fun. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You said it's on Prime, right? It's on Prime. Nice. Check this out. Short video. Nice. It's on Prime. It is awesome. Yeah. Sweet. They're pretty weird. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. It's all grassroots. You spread the gospel. I love that. That's why I love that. Thank you. I like torching. I felt so bad when we were doing Well, yeah, but... You were good at making the mask. Well, I give it credit to the guys. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I mean, and uh, we worked with, um, what's his name, Manson. Remember him? No. no. In Project Manson. Not Marilyn. Marilyn Manson. Oh my God, he was on that show? He did something. That's Screaming Mad George. That's Screaming Mad George. Yeah. 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 George, that's George, that's not Marilyn Manson. <laughs> They messed up. Oh <laughs> they messed Are you up. taking this? Sweet. Ah. Thank you so much. Oh, that is nice. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's funny, my buddy Chris was like, I, I wonder if Alan will bring the soundtrack to Dentist. And I was like, he's got them. That's so cool. Have you always had them? Are these new? Or? Uh, no, they were made a long time ago, but I mean, you know, they, they came and went, right? But now they're yeah. revived on the whole thing. Uh-huh. That's awesome. That's so cool. I heard you Great. worked on Killer Clowns. Is that right? Did you work on Leprechaun as well? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're all mine. All nice. mine. I love it. Killer Clowns was number one. Oh, yes. I love it. All right. You ready for this? No Right? Thanks for showing up. You were a late surprise. This is great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Appreciate that. I got a. I mean, you, I'm going with colors with that one. Do you mind going with this one? No, yeah. not at all. Appreciate it. It's, it's, it's a know, colorful print, you know. Uh, I'm gonna do something funny. Oh, I love it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, you don't. Well. Yeah, it basically pay, pays for every. I mean, the artist. You got to pay for printing and stuff. But you don't really make any money. You know? the DVDs and the Yes, I love that. They they, 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 they took, took my name off the billing block no. just to be spiteful. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I. Because because they they didn't they didn't get along with me. Is that right? Yeah, they tried. They but kept trying to fire project, me. No. Yeah. 
What a, I can go silver that one. We can do that one. Right? Yeah, let's try a silver one, maybe. Where do you want it? Um, it's on the bottom, right there on the bottom. Yeah. Starting another Kickstarter now. I had no idea. So you'll still sign stuff, though. I mean, you did all your work for it, though, right? I mean, you still got to get recognition for it, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's expensive. You know, it's it's only. What is this? Is this laser disc? This is the album from the actual record soundtrack by John Masari. Yeah, that's what he signed right there for me. Yeah. Yeah, John's the best. Yeah. But this just got released. Yeah, maybe last year. I went to the. I, w I went to the um, when you did the Hollywood the, the show? concert the yeah. concert with the orchestra and everything the theater, yeah. yeah wasn't that cool yeah that I was, wish that I was made un that. it was unbelievable yeah I mean he's trying to do it again as soon as you know I, I said why the hell don't we just redo the, uh, oh see that was the thing this is my first that was my first movie oh okay and I, I cut the dialogue uh -huh. besides cutting the movie yeah I cut the dialogue. Uh, about a third of the sound effects and uh, supervised the dub. So, I mean, I, I was, I, I had something to do with every, every stage, my yeah. post. And we went to a dubbing stage that was all messed up. It, had, it was full of short circuits. And out of like hundreds, you know, many, many, many reels of sound that we prepared, yes. we, only, we only heard about half of it. Half, half the sound we never got through from the machines to the dubbing stage because of the, all the short circuits that they had. No way. And I what knew what was going on. Yes. Yes. And I kept trying to tell them, Fever, Fever, we got to go back, we got to do this. No, 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 we don't. Blah, 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 blah. And I was overruled by the companies, post guy. No way. And so it's a crappy, shitty mix. In fact, there's one shot. Yeah. When, when, uh, you still remember, huh? When, 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 uh, what's her name? Um, Suzanne? Mike, Mike and, uh, Mike and Debbie uh -huh. are in the spaceship for the first time. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Debbie spins around and she goes, What's that? I and I go, What's what? I didn't hear anything. Well, it's because this, the, the effect never made it to the never made it to the dump stage. I said, well, don't you see we're, we're missing stuff? I didn't know one catch that. Well, the, the sound, the, uh, our post supervisor was half deaf. You can't make this up. <laughs> Nobody's ever interviewed me for that. It, it, it always pisses me off. Seriously, with the Blu-rays or anything that can be released, there's a new video game coming out. No one's ever talked to you, huh? So many of them. I've never been interviewed. It's so crazy for, to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully, there's a platform that someone will eventually will. I, I, maybe. Well, see, I've tried. I've tried every time they do one of these screenings, off and on, over the last few years. Yeah. You know, ever since the MGM sure. got their hands on right. it, they started bringing it out into the public. Um, I would go to the screens and they'd bring everybody up to the stage and, or, you know, they'd, we'd stand there, sit there, you know, and people would ask questions and stuff. Yeah. But I never got around because there was never enough time. I never got around to tell the story about how, how bollocked up the sound was, yeah. you know, for all of that. And all I've ever wanted to do for the last 35 or whatever years is get my hands back on all of the elements and go back into and redo a, a it all sound like you want to. and rebuild the whole yes. the whole track. And now if we've got a real music score, yes. we could we could put the music score with it. So, Did you try to uh, get in touch with John? Nobody nobody would pay for it. Oh. Because it would cost too much to it would probably cost like 20 grand, 30 oh, grand yeah. to remix, to remix the, the picture. You know, in 5.1, real stereo and everything. Yeah, you know? there's a lot of fans. Maybe you could do a crowdfund or something in Indiegogo. Kilicon's a huge following. I, 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 Maybe. I keep telling my friends about it. They yeah. know that that's, that's my sore spot. <laughs> And so I, I was well, I appreciate you signing it for me. Oh, no, no kidding. No kidding. Yeah. It's, you know, it's like very I just cool. didn't know, yeah. Cool. Very cool book. That's, yeah, that's no, got to that's, be tough for you, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, that's a great piece of art. Isn't that cool, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, and then me, the new release for the art, the, the soundtrack, you know, is really cool. But I'm glad you wrote Edited By. I love that. I love that. It's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I just finally got a. Uh, Chris Roth right there's edited by and you made a little arrow right next to it. Why was that again, sir? Because why? <laughs> uh, because he took my name off the billing block. That's it. So this is one of a kind right here. 
It's just never done it before. One of a kind. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. Oh, you want Thank you, sir. Sorry. How you doing, sir? Okay. How are you doing? Uh, so, so, and that one more. All right. So I got four or five. All right. What's that? I got orange pen if you don't mind. Terry Towers. Right above Terry same place where my client Armand DeSante is. Let's do a little test flight, just make sure. Sure. Are these paint, paint pens? Yes. Yeah. Dry out? Yeah. Yeah, that, the, book, this, the real thin one dries a little faster, which I appreciate. So. Great. Oh, oh, that's I beautiful. Nice. Looking good, dude. Thank you, sir. Here's one of my guys. Okay, good enough. Good Here's enough. my car. Yeah, this is the it is. Thank you, sir. How much are you, sir? Yeah, send them those. How much? Yeah. Um, Thirty bucks. Oh, you heard it? And then I'll buy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So you're not allowed back there, sir. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna choke you in your picture again, Chris. What? Yeah, I'm choke you in that would be a dream come true, actually. Right. Or maybe pull a tooth out. <laughs> you, you, you did have a sweet tooth for him, though. That's true. <laughs> I guess, wait, wait, in the dental world, it's impressions. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> he came up with a good one. <laughs> Sorry. I was about to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I know how to break that. Okay, you, know what? you jumped the shark. Oh, I did. I right, try to retain yourself, guys, all right? Oh, ride it back, ride it back, ride it back, yeah. Low key, that was pretty slick, right? That was, that was fire? Was that fire? That was pretty bomb. That was bomb.com. Oh my God. <laughs> you totally cringed there. Got Alan Howard showed up, oh, Ali, Anthony Bronte, who was back here. Man. Brian already left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll still got Jillian. Jillian right Jillian there. Oh, got the gas, gas soup, bone show soup, getting in trouble. We got Dale in the house, too. What a yeah, fun event, event, right? Everybody showed up. Everybody was like, you, know, you, you want to curb your enthusiasm? He's right behind you. Hey, he's right there. Okay. I was gonna tell him. I was gonna tell him something, but out of spite, you know, I didn't want to make him mad. So oh, man. he totally does look like him, though, for real. Yeah. He does. Yeah. I can't stop staring at him. He probably thinks I'm crazy. I know. He's like, that girl wants me. She kept staring at me the whole time. I was like, Chris, you better watch out. You know, it's you're gonna look for Larry David. Episode. Yeah. Yeah. So I was staring at it. Yeah. Dude, what a fun event, huh? Dude, great first event. event for 2023. Yeah, and my first event since uh, the Jeez, yeah, Caroline the last Williams time? one. Oh, it's my. been a while because I've been since, doing pre-orders since online. Since the the blue uh, what was that? The vampire movie. Um, uh, Ten minutes. That was your last Dark Dale bit? Dude, where yeah, you yeah. been? Oh, it's been a while. A lot of events always conflicting with it. It's like, ah! This guy. Where you but been, not man? Today. Not, not today. Not today. You're here. You and sat in the dentist here. chair. Well, oh, you, got your, you got your teeth checked out. You got the root canal. <laughs> got that molar taken care of. I have a hanger in my mouth. <laughs> oh. It's a good day. That's right. And you got the hook hand free. I got to hug it. And then, <laughs> and then soon you're going to be uh, getting to uh, the root of the canal with all your autographs, huh? I was trying, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Safari, uh, Safari Inn. It. The true romance takes place right here at the Safari Inn. Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette drive right up in there in the pink Cadillac. And this is where she has the awesome fight scene with James Gandolfini in the one room. Oh, dude, I love true romance. There it is, Safari Inn here in Burbank. The Safari Inn. You safari finally saw it, right? You saw finally true saw it? Romance. You finally yeah, saw it, right? Fun film. It's good, right? <laughs> yeah, Quentin I like it. It's pretty Quentin entertaining. Quentin screenplay. Tony Scott directed. Dude. Brad Pitt, Dennis Hopper, Christopher Walken, uh, Val Slater. Kilmer, Christian Slater, <laughs> Patricia Arcade, James Gandolfini, Ronta Pichot, Thomas Sizemore, Chris Penn, 
Gary Oldman. Uh, Gary Oldman, yeah, it's Drexel. Oh, he thought it was White Boy Day. Oh man, it ain't White Boy Day White is it? Boy Day. Dude, ah. so far, dude, True Romance classic. Guys, I'm sure everyone's watched this channel, seen it. If you haven't, <laughs> do yourself a favor. Safari in, check out True Romance. It's oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. All right, I'm back from the signing. Um, Chris and Amy, that was an awesome event, dude. We had so much fun. Thank you guys for going with me. You guys are the best. Uh, I love hanging out with you guys. I'm um, trying to keep it kind of quiet because everyone's asleep now and it's super late. So, But I had to show you everything I got signed. So the reason we all went there was for the Blu-ray release of Dentist 1 and 2. And uh, right here, they all got the sign. Right there. We had Brian Yusner, the director, Alan Howarth, the composer, Anthony Ferrante, who did this uh, special effects. He was a supervisor of special effects. Christopher Roth was editor, which was a surprise. We didn't know he was going to be there, but we were glad he did. And uh, Ken Faree, who played Detector Gibbs in part one. Julian McCherter, who played Jamie Devers in part two. And Lee Dawson, Robbie Morrow in part two. But yeah, so Vestron Video, Collector's Edition, and digital. Love me digital copy. So that was really cool. So he got me that. And then we stopped off at Best Buy because Brian Yusner directed Part 4. So I went and picked up the this flight. It was only eleven ninety nine at Best Buy for all three. For three, four, and five. And boom. And then Alan Howarth, you signed that for me. Did you work on it? I don't know if you did. Maybe you just saw it on the table and you're like, oh, I'm going to sign it. You thought it was the dentist, but it wasn't. It was Silent Night, Deadly Night Collection. So maybe they did work on it. I don't know. But he signed it. Free autograph. Um, another Blu-ray set. I have the Leprechaun 7 film collection. And Chris Roth was the editor in 1 and 2, I believe. So I can add that on there. So that was really cool. So the fact that he was there was like, cool. I'm, I'm going to get my Waxwork Killer Clowns signed right there. You guys can see it in the bottom. And he wrote, Best Chris Roth, who's the editor. Uncredited. You guys heard the stories. So, pretty interesting with uh, how that all went down, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, not pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but it was kind of interesting. Um, but since I've already had this Killer Clowns poster, I had Adam right there. And if you look, edited by Chris Roth. And he highlights a certain person there. He said it's one of a kind. He's never signed it. He's never signed it. He might have signed stuff, but he's never signed it like that. So I got a one of a kind. So Mr. Roth, thank you. You were awesome. So yeah. See if anybody if anybody else can kill clowns signatures and see if they got that signature on theirs. That's pretty rare. Super cool. Uh, another another poster. Anthony Ferrante's new film, Nick's, from the director of Sharknado. And he wrote. Alfonso, stay out of the water, Anthony Ferrante. It's on currently on Amazon Prime right now. I want to check it out. It looks pretty cool. He's talking to us about it. So he's like, yes. I was like, yes. You have an offer poster? So you want that? I'm like, yeah. I'll take that. Heck yeah. So another poster. Since Brian Houston was there, I had to get Return of the Living Dead Part 3. And he signed it in orange right there. And if you guys know, in June, Melinda Clark will be at Monster Palooza. So... Love to add her on there. And man, you know what? And your boy messed up. Chris edited this as well. And I didn't get him. I forgot. Your boy. Your boy, your boy slipped up. But to get Brian and Melinda, that's going to be rad. That's going to be sick. So add that to the other poster collection. Got the Blu-rays. And then Lee Dawson came in this cool like 8x10. Dentist 2, which was pretty cool. And then you guys know the story. I got this because I made her crack up so much. I made, I made her laugh because of the little story you guys saw in the video. Dude, that was hilarious. So you get that on video? I'm like, I sure did. Yep. Uh, oh, and then I got, since Alan Howarth was going to be there, I finally got him to add a, him on my Halloween 4 vinyl. Right there. Part 4. And now part 5. I was able to try out my new orange paint pen, and that came out sweet. I dig them. Yeah, 
Yeah, those came out nice. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So, it's pretty rare um, signing where I can get my records, Blu-rays, and posters all at once. Dude, it was crazy. Um, yeah, what a fun event. Sue and Dell, you guys, awesome, awesome. Thanks for everybody that showed up. Um, one more thing. Where did I place it? I got to... I, I can't... Oh, here it is. A uh, huge fan... A uh, huge... Um, I gotta show you this. Um, a good friend of the channel. Um, you see him in the comments all the time. Uh, he was nice enough to um, go to Golden Apple for me and pick up the last Ronin Lost Years signed by Kevin Eastman and Tom Waltz right there. It's a new series that came out. It just came out. And, uh, dude, you hooked me up, JT, dude. Thank you, man. That was awesome. you the man, dude. Not only that, but since I already had this, you know, and I couldn't make it, but check this out. Boom! Look at that. Kevin Eastman, he did a little sketch. Tom Watts. So now it got me the last Ronin signed by the creator of Ninja Turtles. Dude, how cool is that? Dude, I can't thank you enough for doing that, man. I really appreciate that. Dude, you rock. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys know I just, you know, I just read it. I loved it. And now I got it signed by the Eastman. Kevin Eastman. Look at the creator of the Turtles, y'all. Come on. Cowabunga. So yeah, so I got that and that. Dude, this was a fun event, man. It's always fun to hang out with everybody, have friends. Um, yeah, dude, that was such a fun event. It was really cool. Camper was in a good mood. Everyone was in a good mood, man. It was just so much fun. Um, and it had been the like, first time like Duncan's been in the, like uh, signing in a long time. So we even did a mini filming locations. I mean, just, you know, went to two places, but still just all fun, fun, cool video for you guys to enjoy. And hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, hit that like button. And if you enjoy this content, please, there's going to be, next weekend, it's going to be like, pfft, like two, three events. It's going to be crazy. So stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for subscribe. watching, guys. Appreciate you guys' support. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Take a little bell, as Scott says. And as always, it can rain all the time.